Hi guys, my name is Amaka and this is Pizama Stitching. And welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a short with elastic band. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. Now this is my fabric. My fabric is folded into two. My fabric is folded into two. So this is it. It's folded into two. So now, so this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my waistline. Now from this point, because it's my short is going to have elastic, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches for my elastic casing. So from this point, from this point, I'm going to mark my hip. I'm going to mark my hip point. My hip point is eight inches. Now after that, I'm going to mark my crotch line. My crotch line is eleven inches. My crotch line is eleven inches. Now if you want to know your crotch line, all you need to do is to sit on a on a flat surface and you take your measurement from your waist to that surface, just like the picture we have on on the screen. So now this is my crotch line, my crotch point. My crotch point is 11 inches. And after the crotch point, now I'm going to mark my tie line. My tie line is my tie line is three inches below, three inches below the crotch point. Three inches below the crotch point. That's what gives you the tie line. So plus, I'm going to now. This is also going to serve as the length of my, as the length of my short. Then I'm going to mark 1.5 inches hemming allowance. 1.5 inches hemming allowance. My fabric is small. So I'm using 1.5 inches hemming allowance. Now I'll connect the points. Now take note. Now this is the, this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my waistline. This is the band. Now from here to here is 1.5 inches, which is going to serve as my band casing. Now this is my hip point. My hip point is eight inches. This is my hip point. My hip point is 8 inches. And this is my crotch line. My crotch line is 11 inches. This is my tie line. My tie line is 3 inches below the crotch line. 3 inches below the crotch line. That's what gives you the tie line. And this is my hemming allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take now on the hip point, I'm going to take my hip measurement. I'm going to take, I'm going to mark a quarter of my hip measurement on this, on my hip, on my hip point. Now, my hip circumference is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 gives you gives you 10 inches. So this is 10 inches. Now the same measurement I have here, I'm also going to mark it on this line. I'm going to mark 10 inches. Now take note, I'm not marking my, my waistline or my waist point. I'm marking my hip line because this short is going to have elastic. I'm using elastic for this short. So I'm going to connect the point. Now on the crotch point, I'm also going to mark it on the crotch point. Ten inches. So now the next thing I'm going to do is this. On this crotch line, now the next thing I'm going to do is to divide to the is to divide. The, my hip measurement is to divide a quarter of my hip measurement by now this the measurement I have here I'm going to divide it by four I'll divide it by four now this is my hip point so the measurement I have here 
which is 10 inches, I'm going to divide it by 4, and that gives you 2.5 inches. Now, now, to get my crouch extension, I'm going to mark that 2.5 inches here, just like this. 2.5 inches, and I'll connect it. Now, I'm going to connect it. For your line not to be too deep, you can you you can mark 1.5 inches from here, from here to here. You mark 1.5 inches and you connect it. You can actually do it with your free hand. On my tie line, I'm going to I'm going to take my tie measurement on my tie on my tie line. Now my tie circumference is 23 inches. 23 divided by two gives you gives you 11.5 inches gives you 11.5 inches so i'm going to mark 11.5 inches here so i'm going to mark 11.5 inches here and i'll also mark it here and i'll connect the point i'll connect this point to this point and so now this is the front this is the front panel now i'm going to cut it so now with this i'm going to draft the the back panel so now this fabric is also unfold So I'm going to place this on this. I'm going to place this on this. So I'm going now from this point, I'm going to add two inches. Just like this. Now I'm going to add now on the back panel, I'll just add half inch seam allowance. I didn't add on the front panel, so I'm adding on the back. So that's just it. Now I'm going to open I'm going to open it. I'm going to split the back. I'm going to split the front and I'll also split the back. So this is the front. This is the front panel and I'll do the same on the back panel. So now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to join it this way. I'm going to, now I'm going to sew it like this. I'll sew it with half inch seam allowance. I'll sew it to this point and I'll stop here. I'll stop here. And for the front, for the front, I'm also going to sew the front. Right side, I'm sewing right side facing right side. I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance and I'll sew it half inch with half inch seam allowance and I'll stop here. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. Now you will notice that the back is bigger than the front, but it's okay. It's okay. So now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it this way. Now I've sewn here, I've sewn the front, I've joined the front panel together, and I've also joined the back together. Now this is the back panel. So I'm going to place the front on the back right side facing right side and i will sew it i'm going to sew it this way i'll sew it down i'll sew it down and i'm also going to sew this part i'll join this part and i'll sew it and i'll join here i'll join here the crotch i'm going to bring the crotch and i'm going to join it this way i'll bring the front panel and the back panel i'll join it together and i'll sew it i'm going to sew it this way i'll sew it this way and 
I'll sew it this way. I'll sew it this way. After that, after sewing it that way, I'm going to fold in my I'm going to fold in my elastic casing. I'll fold in half inch and I'll fold in after folding in half inch, I'll fold in one inch. Now my my elastic casing is one inch because my the elastic I'm using is small. So if yours is big, you can use you can increase the size of your casing. So so that I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to do it and I'll show you the outcome. I'm going to leave a space where I'm going to I'm going to leave a space where I'm going to I'm going to fix in the elastic. So now after sewing, this is my knicker. I finished sewing. So I'm going to fix in my elastic, my elastic in the casing. I have a hole here which I'm going to use to fix it. So this is my needle and thread. I'm going to I'm going to use it to push it into the casing. So this is what I'm doing. So this is it. So this is my shirt. I'm going to wear it and show you what it looks like. So it's that easy. It's that easy. Just follow the steps and make one for yourself. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Bizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.